Hi guys, welcome to our latest tutorial and today, I'm so sorry, it's been five months since our latest one. I said this was gonna be more constant, but we've been growing the business and we've been doing some amazing work, then we've had summer holidays. So it's been an incredible journey at the moment. So my apologies, first of all. So today we're gonna to be speaking about a portfolio review and we're gonna speak more in concrete about one of the images that was sent to us. If you wanna jump there straight away, just go to the time code below and let's cut my intro in half, but I just wanted to kind of catch up on a little bit of news. So just a bit of news in the meantime of what we've been up to, so you guys know why we've been away as well. So we had a team holiday, which was incredible in Italy. Uh, it was fantastic, so we had a ton of fun. Uh, the guys have been up to also some personal images, uh, the kit bash stuff, which you can find on screen. And that that was a huge competition between everyone in the studio. Not everyone, but a couple of the guys. And uh, we actually did a vote online, which Timon won. And uh, now everyone's not happy. <laughs> um, but also we were nominated for the CG Architect Awards with two images. We didn't win, unfortunately, but the guys who won did some amazing stuff and they totally deserve it so congrats to them also Mattel from our team has been nominated and I think got like second place in the Mars competition so well done to him and yeah so it's been a crazy ride uh, through these last couple of months since our last video and it seems like every time we put out a video it's always a kind of a crazy ride um, so yeah without further ado uh, I'm gonna introduce to you uh, our very own Mattel, who's going to show up and going to be doing this portfolio review with myself uh, right now. So here we are uh, again today, and you may be thinking, who is this beautiful gentleman you have next to you from Italia? <laughs> this is Matteo Ferrari, who I want you to, to meet, and I want to introduce him. He's uh, an integral part of our team, and he keeps us all nice and well fed. Mattel, thank you for that. And Lucia. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. So I want to introduce you to him and let him say, you can say, say a few words, say your right, justice, right. Mattel. As Pedro mentioned, I'm part of a team. I'm a lead artist here. So it's uh, of this beautiful team. Everyone is a great part of the team. Beautiful. So it's a beautiful team. Beautiful. Um, I joined one year ago, pretty much. And since then, it's been a huge and amazing uh, adventure. So I hope you like the images we created and yeah. It's been super fun so far. That said, we received a portfolio image from Mr. Alex Alexander um, uh, Swinarski. I hope I've said that correctly. Um, if not, I apologize. So Alexander has written to us an email, a beautiful email saying that he really likes our work. Uh, he's been watching since the beginning and he'd really like to hear some words of critique from ourselves. So Alexander, let's do this, okay? Why did we choose Alexander? So again, these are not uh, advanced tutorials. These are kind of showing you and understanding how to lead your eye and the basic things that we see crop up most times. So this is consider it for someone who's an architectural student, for someone who's doing the 3D in house for their practice. And this is really to kind of help you guys out to really get that extra little bit and to also understand because the techniques Really, they're all in our videos. If you just review them and you practice, you're pretty much gonna get there. So let's start this off and let's now go into the screen share. So let's get this started. So taking from our previous portfolio review and image review, um, we decided to divide the analysis of the image into three simple things. So composition, colors and values, stories and start. So let's start off with composition. Now, I think again, this is a kind of a very strong composition. I think we've got this this foreground element that really kind of fixes in this main building and our eye does tend to navigate around here in this kind of aspect. I think people are helping really well. So I think that's a really positive point. I think the integration of them, uh, which we'll see in the future, might need a bit of work and we could even potentially have a couple more elements at the back that could work. I do think uh, compositionally this off-center image works really well. But one of the big things, and I think we agreed on that, Mattel, was the crop right yeah yeah definitely we looks a bit squashed yeah so looks exactly a bit so in our paint over you'll see we're basically we've extended that a little bit in order to to really help it out i think it, it just makes it look squashed and needs a bit of room to breathe you've got your right anchor point and your left anchor point which are, are working really well 
and really kind of center the image. Yeah, yeah. Another thing I really like, but at the same time, I think when we did the paint over, both of us had this opinion. Is this uh, this guy yeah. in the foreground is kind of a bit too uh, distracting? Yeah, I think it's the way he's looking that kind of makes us not understand. Yeah, probably even the scale. I, I'm not hundred yeah, percent sure that the, just, the scale is right. But something him being here kind of opens up an emptiness here of yeah. not having anyone where you need to balance off and. And I think if we have someone here, that would help a yeah. lot. Wouldn't you agree? Even crossing the road or someone on the bike yeah, or yeah. someone else. So I'm, someone coming into the image might yeah. help it quite a yeah. little bit because that helps the eye then go here instead of up here, right? Yeah, definitely. Cool. True. So I think that kind of wraps up composition. I think the big thing here is that we extended the composition a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to talk about now about colors and values and I'm going to hand this over to Master Mattel, who is going to talk about this. All right, so the first thing that I would say that might help is just the other hue saturation on top, just to see how the values are working. And I think that this image is, is very nice, but you see some pin of light on the edges, especially. So this car and these windows that are think, I think are really strong. Yeah, so yeah, for instance, this one, this one, this one are really, really strong compared to yeah. the general image. I think the pinging points are kind of, these anchor points at the edges really don't help your eye move into the image as much. And what do we want to focus on in this image? We, we have this ping of light in the middle where Mattel is indicated, but I think this is where we want to focus on. Yeah. Right? And yeah. we've got a kind of uh, interesting story going on here, although I don't know if that's parked, if that's driving left, yeah. right. So we'll talk a little bit about that in our stories and style. But um, yeah, I do think that these kind of help, don't help your eye and you get caught off camera yeah. and it doesn't look too good. Yeah, the depth works nicely. So you can see that the background here is more faded but in the same time is probably can be pushed a bit more. And as Pedro mentioned, this orange tone here is really nice because it's bouncing here as well on the edges. But I and think it's maybe a bit even too extreme. On yeah, probably. Edge, on probably the left. should be probably less strong. Yeah, it's the only ping of really intense color that we have and it's to the complete left side. So you yeah. may want to keep that a little bit more in yeah. the center. I don't know, maybe some light in the car would be nice to have some. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, right, right on the headlights that would add to it. Yeah. And it's kind of conflicting because, again, we're trying to understand these images in reality and our brains are really good at kind of distinguishing reality uh, from from fakeness, right? Let's call it that. Yeah. But that car is parked. Now, at the back, if you see, they're kind of colliding and that kind of brings us into this next thing we're talking about. So you see they're going in opposite directions. Yeah, almost. this one is going that way. Yeah, it's really and you... And if you look, they look like it's it's on the same it's on the same the same lane as that one. So these things kind of collide, and you don't really know what's happening, and your brain distinguishes that, and that brings us on to uh, I think that's pretty much yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah colors, absolutely. value. Yeah. I think the only other little thing before then, sorry about that, is just these. I think these windows they're a bit too yellow, and they've got the people really prominent. Would people be there like that? <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Probably. And I think that we, they might be even a little bit too uh, lit up. They might be a bit darker yeah, if they're in yeah, the yeah, shadow. Yeah, like, yeah, if you look at glass, glass is quite dark. Should right? be dark. Yeah. E even on the top here, you can yeah. even add something, some pin of interest. Like, yeah. I don't know, some light or something that catch more the attention. So create more this kind of. Uh, yeah. And you can even, honestly, like uh, without even drawing too much, but you, you could basically. Uh, have this here pinging more and kind of more intense if you want to keep that and just lower that a little bit you can make that, that whole floor the sun coming through and washing through a yeah, bit more yeah. intense right probably stronger shadows as well because you can see the shadow of this guy that is very strong but yeah. there's nothing else very strong compared to this it's kind yeah. of shadow shadow wise which this kind of starts leading on to our next element right the stories and style so as mentioned our brains are super good at, uh, let's let's just flip this, Mattel. We yep, always flip yep. this. Kind of look from a different perspective, and I think that's going to refresh. A lot of people have told us this. This is really one of the biggest things they never used yeah, to do. Yeah. But let's talk a little bit about stories and style, right? So uh, this is kind of a very um, it's, it's important high, thing. Yeah, it's important, and at the same time, it's a very kind of diffusing. So there's lots of things we can include in this. But the main thing I want to talk about is 
yes, the people are correctly inserted. I think that the volume, uh, the visual space that they occupy is really nice. Yeah. But I think that they, if you notice, they're kind of looking up, but looking up at what, you know? Mm -hmm. What are they, there's nothing going on. So if we have this, I'm not sure what this is. I'm gonna say this is some kind of cultural center. Um, you know, we could have an opening night story going on and um, and basically people coming in and it's a party or whatever and people coming in cocktail dresses. Now, you really need to be um, understanding of what are the type of people going to habit, inhabit your space. Yeah, basically the story, the, the people create a story and creates a very po important part of the image. So if you build a story around the building that is a cultural center, you expect maybe people dressed in a way that uh, reflect the yeah. cultural center yeah. and even the space of the, the the people should be kind of maybe more focused on this area so the the main focus of the building should be there and definitely helps a lot to have someone else maybe here yeah crossing just the road anchor points that give yeah. you a little bit of story yeah. again I, this guy we can get away with right he's looking up there but this car again what we were talking about in the previous one how it conflicts in is it going forward is this the is this also the footpath? What's going on? Um, also, is this cafe? Uh, I mean, these are all conflicting stories of what's happening. And then everyone's kind of going into the image on this side, but going in and there's nothing happening here. So our brain kind of expects these things. And these things are super important also to lead your eye. So remember, they always function as a whole. Again, when Mattel mentioned um, previously this tree and that it, it basically uh, not the tree actually you were saying this looks like a kind of an autumn scene yes but we don't have the tree to reflect that so all these things we should be able to locate again should be able to locate these things within time space and style season, right? yeah and season uh, it should be should be evident it doesn't have to be all the time but we find that that gives a very kind of unique component to the images um would you like to complement with anything else no uh, i think Mattel? we said plenty of stuff and there's few things that we can obviously go on and on and on but the general markup I think helps to have a general more precise idea of the image where we should bring this to the next level yeah and yeah so I think that's pretty much all covered so now let's go into the paint over and we'll discuss a little bit of the paint over I think it will be just myself because Mattel's got to shoot out uh, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll discuss a little bit of the paint over and uh, kind of run through the whole process uh, and see where our minds are because even to, we, uh, we, both myself and Mattel did a different paint over I did mine yesterday but re-looking at things today I also see a couple of different elements we could have picked up in the paint over well myself at least <laughs> uh, could have picked up differently and that's again art it's always a thing of like uh, time and space and you do need some space to also sit back and kind of come with fresh eyes to yeah, look at stuff yeah, right absolutely true so I'd like to thank Mattel for, for his time yeah. Um, yeah thank you very much guys for listening you're going to be seeing a bit more of him and a bit more <laughs> of the other people uh, from the team so yeah let's get into the paint over Okay, so now on to the paint over and we're going to run through this very quickly as you can see. So basically, as we mentioned, the first thing was actually in regards to composition. To look at that, we mentioned that to expand the canvas uh, and to really kind of give it some room to breathe, I think it really helps. Now, as, as you know, this paint over is not to be perfect. It's just for us to kind of understand our mental ideas. And you'll see that I'm working into it straight away with those so those anchor points. So we, we noticed that that big volume on the left at the moment is quite empty and there's nothing. And it's very repetitive, that texture, actually. I would even correct that in 3D a little bit. But you'll notice that I'm exploring around with the vignette and I'm really trying to, to get this understanding of uh, what's going on. And I'm trying to paint into it and understand what happens if we extend a little more. I think even most times when we're working on this type of images, again, if it's not like a vignette or it's not like a, a very architectural shot, this is more of a street view and this is more of like um, the typical go-to that e e most architects do uh, to show the street ambience. You'll notice that, um, that a little more of the canvas always helps and it, it just doesn't feel as claustrophobic and you start to get a lot more attention. Now you see that I'm making the glass a little darker as we mentioned and I'm kind of brightening it up in certain aspects. 
also trying to bring out a little bit of that detail um, in those uh, those stone facades on the left and again darkening that glass now i didn't darken all of it i've just done it very quickly again this is just a quick sketch so you'll notice that i'm working into the car a little bit now this is not to give too much attention but it's just to understand how that car affects if we should put it a little bit more out of shot uh, and then just working into that mid-ground just trying to understand a little more how the tree could be built up in that mid-ground uh, now again not perfect I think there should be some distinction between those mid-ground trees and the actual building that glass you see how it's kind of uh, just a pointing together and it's coming together and you can't really distinguish again it's just one of those things when you're looking at it from another perspective you're kind of uh, figuring it out and seeing okay yeah I would have done that again it's a rough thing so I would put that down I would note okay separate that a little bit more in the future you'll notice as well kind of playing around with the with the composition again just trying to see how it all works I think as well uh, another thing is uh, remember we mentioned that that man really wasn't working and you'll see that in the final image the final paint over as we explore the image i thought it could be really nice to have just someone with a child going down the street into the actual image but a little bit further out uh, also trying to lift a little bit of that um of that uh, pathway i think it's the pathway i'm not exactly sure if it's a pathway and just trying to understand the car again the car is a bit confusing because one car is going one direction the other car is going the other and it doesn't really seem to work. You'll notice as well, I've not only flipped it to kind of get a little more perspective, but I'm also kind of flipping on a couple of different versions to have a look at what's been done. So now I'm bringing in a person, I thought a scooter, but again, I didn't really find anyone in the right perspective. And at the same time, I didn't really understand what side of the road people drive on here. This is one of those confusing things and clients will bring this up a lot and they, believe it or not, they, they do kind of look at those things and the brain always detects errors. I, again, trying to clean that up a little bit and trying to understand how we might use that car because I, I quite like that car. It's a, I think it has some character to it. Um, and just trying to place it a little more in the background where it's not, you know it's not so central and it's not occupying that importance of the edge I and it's not up against the people it's it's also important to not have these types of um, uh, inconsistencies in our story where the people up against the car and again just walking working a little more into that vignette to that whole element that's really going to uh, frame our view so I thought it could be really nice if it had these people in a, some kind type of cafe here on the left and also darkening a little bit of uh, of that blank wall so we get a little more contrast. And again, sometimes don't be afraid to go contrasty. I mean, it's just one of those things that sometimes it really adds to the image. And there are great images that are full of contrast. Most times clients, they never want to go uh, contrasty. They always want to go with the maximum amount of light. We want to see everything in beautiful blue daytime. I mean, we all complain about this. But at the same time, um, I mean, if you ha you have the freedom to experiment, right? You have the freedom to just go for it. It doesn't work. Well, we'll try something else. And it's not that much of a big deal to kind of relight something uh, and do another artistic take on it. You'll see as well, working into those uh, lamp elements, uh, as I thought they were quite important and they really worked. And after a little bit um, this is basically the final image that we came through and as you can see the final image is just very rough at the moment and please keep in mind that these again are just very rough ideas and they're not meant to be perfect we're not working into this is to kind of show you guys just with a little bit of color um, color balance color grading and sketching how you can really transform an image and how you can really kind of apply these ideas and principles to your images so before I go, um, I just want to leave one small idea that we had, and I think it's a really cool one because uh, we, we want to meet who's out there, who's on that side, we want to know who's there. And basically we thought, why don't we just have like a, we, we generally have Friday drinks in the office and we go to the local pub. So it's kind of, let's extend this. Let's do a meetup where we can kind of get to know who's out there and you guys can come for a drink with us at the pub. Um, even if it's just one person, uh, it will be totally fun and we'll just pick your brain, you'll pick ours and we can have a very informal talk and just get to know who's out there. So guys, I've linked it below. If you guys are interested, just sign up um, and let's, yeah, let's, 
get to meet who's out there and understand who's who's following the channel around from our place and finally don't forget guys follow our website our channel our instagram our other channel <laughs> Follow Aki9 Learn and Aki9.com and yeah, thank you guys for all the support. It's been amazing uh, to, to see who's out there. I'm really sorry. Hopefully we've, um, fingers crossed, we'll get a couple more of these out uh, sequentially. And finally, do it in post. <laughs>